Welcome back to Life of Lilia, my blog. So it's been a while, but life has just been busy. But I'm gonna start it up again, and I'm gonna start it with an unboxing from my, I guess it's my second eBay purchase, but my first eBay purchase since I've gone sustainable or eco-ish. And so I've always wanted like super cute pajamas for Christmas. And I know that Target always has like fun ones, um, but I don't want to support fast fashion. So I was like, I'm going to find some really cute ones on eBay and I want ones made of silk. I've been getting really into like taking care of my skin and I know that silk is like really good for the skin. So I looked up um, vintage uh, silk pajamas. And so, oh, don't want to show you my address. Oh, how cute. Look at the little kitty cat. Okay. I actually want to keep this cat. I got it off with nothing on. Ooh, more stickers. I love stickers. Okay. So, please tell me this is not the perfect, like, silk pajama set for Christmas. Oh, oh look at it. Amanda Stewart Intimates. Like, can you just see me waking up Christmas morning? This is like some quality freaking material, man. Like this is thick. All right, let's see the pounds. So cute. Oh, I don't know if this is gonna fit. Yikes. Does it have a drawstring at least? Well, we'll try it on. Okay, so this is it. It is very warm, so I won't be able to wear this until like literally Christmas or when I go on my trip to Portland. The only problem is these don't fit, but I feel like it won't be that hard of a fix um, to just sew it. I think I'm gonna, it's gonna have to like cinch in a bit. Like I can just make the elastic shorter, but I mean, I think it's really pretty I'm a little bummed that the pants don't fit, but it's still cozy and cute. So these are my eBay Christmas pajamas. And not just for Christmas, but like my winter pajamas. Bye. These were some twice baked potatoes I made to celebrate me getting my first credit card. They weren't that good though. Then I hiked to Mamak Hill with my friend and we timed it perfectly. We hit it just at sunset. It was breathtaking. So I saw a snake for the first time in the wild that night. Then on Saturday, I went with my team Meme and Memo to go get some sushi at this place off of Speedway. I thought this menu was so cute. We got lots of stuff, steamed vegetables, cucumber salad, a bunch of rolls, salmon teriyaki, and here's just me sampling all the goods. I hope you enjoy this footage. Monday, the first day of the week, and I slept real good last night. And today I'm about to eat the most delicious breakfast. I brought a Levon bread from Thai Market. And I'm making avocado toast with it. It's about to be so beautiful. Are you ready? Okay, here it goes. And in my opinion, there's a proper way to eat avocado toast. And it's avocado, a little lemon juice, everything seasoning, black or red peppers. And then I cut it up so the yolk like runs all about, but not off of it. I really try and keep it corralled in the toast. So that first picture was what it looked like, but this is how I actually eat it. And it's bomb.com. Oh. 
Ooh. I think I'm gonna go on a walk after this because it's only 68 degrees out in Tucson in September, October. I also need to pack up my house because I'm moving at the end of the month. So I think I'm gonna go walk to the Johnny Gibsons and see if they have any extra boxes. Okay, they only had one box, but told me to come back at like two or three and I can get more. I also picked up some snacks, classic. I love the small bag because then I can just get a taste without overindulging. And sometimes they'll have this bag where you'll, they'll soak apples and sarolitos in like lemon lime juice. And it's like so freaking good. I'm so sad. I just broke my Anastasia of Beverly Hills body shimmer. And if anyone knows me, they know that I fucking love that stuff. I started cleaning it up, but I was able to salvage a little. That bottle was $40, so I'm hurting a little bit inside. Don't forget to vote, you fools. The Congress people have a lot of power in your city. So I dropped off my ballot. Then I took my compost to the compost cats drop off. There's this cute little squash, pretty moon at the gym. I made this bomb sandwich. Good morning, humans. Today is Tuesday. Yesterday was a very busy but productive day. I got a bunch of stuff ready for my yard sale I'm having at my TMA Mace this Saturday. And then I mopped, swept, cleaned the bathroom because there's people coming to my house tomorrow to look at my apartment to see if they want to rent it out. But today I'm making a smoothie, my favorite smoothie to make in the morning. It starts off with a bunch of spinach. And normally I buy the bag spinach, but I'm trying to get more eco, you know? So I bought loose leaf spinach. And the best way to preserve any greens is by dampening a cloth and rolling it in it. And that keeps it very crisp and fresh for long. some work done and then I made a grilled cheese with tomato soup for lunch and I wanted to show you my outfit I really like doing this so I think I'm gonna do it more often but I was going for the very like Harry Potty Harry Potty yeah Harry Potter schoolgirl clueless vibes what do you think then I walked to work today because it was just so beautiful and windy Okay, does anybody walk around their downtown area with headphones in listening to something like Dreams by Fleetwood Mac and feel like the main character? Because same. Thursday was such a special day. My friend Brie had an ultrasound and I was able to FaceTime in. This is where she found out the gender. I knew it all along. I'm so excited to meet you, baby. I got to see the baby's heartbeat, listen to it, and see the 3D imaging. You are already so loved, little girl. Then I met up with my friends Alan and Nicole. It was like a little middle school reunion to have a charcuterie board and it was a great night. Again, if you don't subscribe, make sure to hit that subscribe button and follow me on Instagram. Bye.